Hey guys, in today's video, we're doing an SEO audit with our free SEO audit checklist for a potential client that sent their website over for me to take a look at their local SEO as well as their website layout, design, silos, everything. So we're going to do that today. If you're new to the channel, my name is William Jones. Please make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so you're notified anytime we go live. I have over 20 years of SEO experience, and we generally have SEOs such as Holly Sarks, Chris Palmer, myself, Brent Bowser, Michael Merlino, and the list goes on and on and on on our channel. So you don't want to miss it. Just make sure to hit that bell icon. So let's go ahead and dive right in. I've already ran the audit. I use Link Assistant. You can get all these tools, generally speaking, in the description below. Some of them I'm paid, I'm an affiliate. Some of them I'm not. A lot of them I'm not. Um, this is a good tool to do the audit. We've already ran the audit, but let's go take a look at the actual website. So it's called Gobi Max. It is a digital marketing company. Overall, I like the branding, like the storyline, all that. Looks good. Like the chat bot here. I like the sticky header, follows you as you go. Phone numbers up here. Looks very clean, very professional. Love it. All right, you have your social icons down here. I want to check several things for you guys. So, um, another tool we use, which we will be using here, is called SEO Meta in one click. So, we can look at all the SEO data without having to lose, lose the page. But, first things first, you always want your phone number click to call. So, if I click on it, it will call it, which you do. Contact button, you always want to be a bright color, usually pops out. This is, I'm feeling this, I like it. Um, your keyword, your main H1 should always be what you're trying to promote. So if you're a digital agency, marketing agency, whatever city, because it says you're based in Mesa, Arizona, I would have put my main H1 here plus city, but that's me. Learn more button, it pops out, goes to your about us section down here. How do we help? It goes down your services down here. Learn more buttons. The one thing I'd want to see more of is you should have content than a call to action, being call me, book a call, something, calendar link. These are some of your um, past, if you will, clients, your portfolio. When I click on it and goes to it, it looks good. It looks really, really good. I like it. Okay. Overall, let's look at the content. Loads pretty slow. I don't like that part of it. I like this little thing over here with the video, your chat bot. That looks pretty cool. Overall, I mean, looks of it, I like it. Don't get me wrong. Um, now, if we go over here to SEO in one click, you're missing a description. You know, your keywords are missing. You know, if we go to your headers, you have one H1, which is good, but your H1 is your digital presence is about to explode. Your H1 should reflect your main keyword plus the city, right? And you don't do that whatsoever on here, so you'd wanna fix that. Your images. You have 26 images, two don't have without alt. Alt meaning what does Google see when it sees that image? You don't, 26 of them don't even have a title. In other words, if I click on this image right here and hit open image, what is it called? You know, this one is it, the actual file name is here. But if you actually look at the actual, if you will inspect the source code, it does not have the alt text there or the alt title in this specific instance. Your links, you have 36 without title. You need to fix that. Um, let's go over to page speed and go to tools and we'll look at that as well. So let's go to page speed. And we'll analyze that for the Google Core Vitals. Google Core Vitals being this last year, they had updated it and it's very much a ranking factor no matter what anybody says. Um, if you have a slow website, it's going to affect your rankings. Okay, now if we go over to the actual SEO report, you have 404 errors, okay? Let me go ahead and show you this. 404 errors, 
I'm gonna send this report over to you. All right. You have one broken image, 87 empty alt title, you know, 22 empty meta description. You have some issues you need to take care of. It'd take me probably a day to fix most of these issues. I will send this over to you. All right, let me send that over to you. You do not pass your core vitals. You wanna get these core vitals up and passing, okay? So overall, you know, if it was me, there's some things I would look at and fix. Then if we go over to your GMB, on your reviews, your bare, I mean, you're responding to your reviews, but they're one sentence reviews. You could use Jarvis AI or any content writer will write a paragraph of good content using your keywords in your city and your reviews. Okay, um, let's look at the rest of this. You need to ask about 10 Q and A's or question and answers regarding your services every month and answer them. And you can do this from multiple GMB accounts. You can actually do the questions and respond to the answers uh, or the questions with the answers. And then if we look at your posts, I have very specific ways I do my posts and this is not going to be it. Um, the ways I would do my posts are going to be a lot different and I'll show you that. Give me one second. Give me an example that we could see a, a good post and how you do it and everything. Uh, for example, this would be a good post. So we have the image, it's reflective, it has the URL, it has their logo, it has an image of what they're doing. It's a moving company in the Bronx. It has the keyword in the in the title of the post. It has the keyword in the area in the in the con in the content. It has their name, address, phone number with their website. And it also has a hyperlink back to reading the previous post. If you were to click on this, it go back to the previous post and then it links over to the actual service. That is the way we want to do our GMB post. We don't want to do it, if you will, this way, the way that you're doing it. We want to be posting about five days a week because I use those inside of my GMB blog posts on my website, okay? So let's go back. Your profiles, you only have tied to your here. In the, if you have these tied to your schema on your website, they will show up in here in your GMB knowledge panel. You are going to want your Facebook, your Twitter, your LinkedIn, anything you have, Instagram, whatever you're using. You want it inside your schema. That way it shows up. Your name, address, phone number should always match. So if it's Gobi Max here and this is the way it should be, you'd want it to be Gobi Max on YouTube, Gobi Max on Twitter, wherever it's at. Okay. Hopefully you got some pointers out of this. If you would like my assistance or help, please let me know. Once again, my name is William and today's SEO audit, we're going over how to audit a website. If you don't have my free SEO checklist, make sure to comment below and I'll get this over to you. It's not your normal SEO checklist that everybody gives away. This goes has an actual intake form. If you're going to intake and you're actually doing this for clients, this has my SEO checklist, what tools I use, is it manual or plug-in, my GMB task sheets, okay, um, GMB audit checklist, name, address, phone number, services, products, where they got listed, do a verification of the name, address, phone number, what GMB categories, I got all of it in here. So if you don't have that, make sure to comment below and I'll get that over to you guys. Once again, I'm here to help you. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and I will make a video for you as well. You guys be blessed and have a great day. Once again, if you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification. And until then, I'll see you next time. Have a great day. So many SEOs that hate me and say that I'm still in their methods. They bitching and cry, labeling me. SEO Black Hatter was a nobody, now I'm at the top. Most wanted.